Hello, my name is Gilad. I'm a product manager in Elastic, the company that develops Elasticsearch. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to use runtime fields to fix errors in your index data. Runtime fields are our implementation of schema on read, which means we calculate the value of the field per document just when a query requires it. Let's get started. I'm starting from the dev tools in my Kibana and I'll create a template for my indices. This template will capture, will apply to all the logs that starts with door log dash. So I can have door log dash one, door log dash two, etc. And it includes three index fields, the timestamp, the browser, and the duration. All of those three are normal scheme on right fields. I'll create the template and then I'll load some data into that. And I'm creating a new index by loading this data. I'll call it door log one. So it takes the, uh, it inherits from the template that we've just created. And after loading this data, I'll head on to uh, Kibana and create a new visualization that uses that in Lens. Just note that your dates are set correctly to apply for the data. I'm using the dir log index pattern, which I've created ahead of time that captures any index starting with dir log. And I'm taking the uh, browser, for example, and dropping it on the horizontal axis and the duration in the data. And immediately I see that something looks wrong because I've got data in Firefox, but the data for the other browsers is like on a completely different scale. So I want to go back and look at the data. I'll, I'll do an aggregation. I'm doing, uh, so I'm doing a get to the door log one, the index I created to the search API call. I don't need the documents. So I'm using a uh, size zero and I'm aggregating on browser and getting the average duration. And a quick look at the data shows a clear picture. Firefox duration is in milliseconds while all the other browsers are in second. If I look at data, it's very clear. This is in second, etc. cetera. Uh, the, the others uh, are in, and the, for Firefox it's in milliseconds and that's the problem. Anyone that worked with data knows here and there you get wrong data. And it's not a problem to fix for the new documents, right? If I'm uh, rolling over the indices in this uh, data stream and I'm creating the new index, something like dir log two that will inherit from the same template, I can make sure to fix the data in the where it comes from or in log search or in the ingest processor and make sure that Firefox gets the data in uh, seconds. But my visualization will still look at some data that is wrong. So most of the fields, browser, timestamp are correct, and I may have many other fields. Other indices could be correct, but I've got one index with wrong data. And my option used to be that I would need to re-index those documents or not relate to that index. And that's, these are not good options. Um, I would ideally want the, anyone that consumes this data to get the fixed data instead of the, the erroneous data. With runtime fields, it's very easy to fix. Let's start by fixing it in, in ephemeral field, a field that exists only within a query. That's nice to experiment with that. That way we don't influence the mapping for everyone. So. I'm making a get call to the durlog one, and it's a search, it's a call to the underscore search API endpoint. But I'm starting with defining a new runtime field. I do this in the runtime mappings section that I open, and I call my field duration. This is a key point because that's the name of the field that had the wrong information. When Elasticsearch identifies that there is a runtime field and an indexed field with the same name, it will use the runtime field. The runtime field is something you can change and delete. So if you choose to leave it there, um, that means that's the field you want used over the index field. That allows us to shadow the, in, the information in the index field within correct information in the runtime field. So 
I'm defining a field named duration, its data type, its variable type is double, like the original field. And now I have a script uh, that's written in the painless scripting language. And um, here the uh, ability to define a script shines because you can define your own logic. Um, and I'm just, in this case, using a simple if to say if the information in the browser field. So this is the syntax for relating to the value of the browser field. We've got the browser in parent in single quotes, in square brackets with doc, and then I'm asking for the dot value. I want the value of that. If it equals Firefox, then the value I want to emit into the duration field is the value from the underscore source, params dot underscore source, is where we keep the original information that got into Elasticsearch. And from there, we want the original value of the field duration. So I put this again in square br uh, brackets in a uh, single apostrophe and divide that value by a thousand. In single quote, divide that uh, uh, value by a thousand. Else, if it's another browser, just emit the value from the source, the duration, uh, the value of the duration field from uh, the source document. And that's it. So this is my definition of the duration field. From here on, it's a normal query. And this query relates to the index field browser and to the uh, field duration. There's an index field duration, there's a runtime field duration, and of course, the engine uh, prefers the runtime field duration. So if I run this query, I'll get the correct data. So now we have Firefox with the correct data in seconds. That's all good, but this field exists only within this query. That was nice for the development, so I don't influence anyone's data, but now I want everyone to be using uh, this field. So that's also simple to do. All I need to do is to take this section here, the whole section to do with the duration, just copy it and put it. So I'm using the put command in do log one mapping. So I'm saying in the do log one mapping, underscore mapping, put in the runtime section. So I'm, I'm opening a section runtime and there put the, and from here on, it's the same definition that we already did. Put the duration runtime field, etc. Once it's there in the mapping, for any request to the duration field of that index, the Elasticsearch will prefer the runtime field. So let's add this. And now it's fixed everywhere. So if I go back and refresh my visualization, I immediately get the corrected data. I invite you to uh, start a trial environment in our cloud and experiment with this for yourselves. I'll paste the uh, calls that I use below. Thank you very much.